Hey guys, we have an exciting match here between the Oppo Find X and the iPhone 10. So let's get a stack up. Now the Oppo Find X is some incredible innovation with it. So we will be testing out the cameras, the speakers, the speed, and a few more things. And the Oppo is the first one to boot up. All right, guys, so next we have the specs. The Oppo is a larger screen, but the iPhones at a high resolution. On the front, the Oppo is a 25 MP camera. And on the iPhone, it's seven. And on the back, both phones with dual camera setups. With the Oppo, you have more options for storage. And the Oppo also has a larger battery. Both phones have the latest chipset, and the Oppo is more RAM with it. The iPhone is waterproof. At the bottom, the Oppo is USB Type-C, and on the iPhone, a lightning port. And unfortunately, no headphone jacks. And really nice, beautiful glass signs on the back here. All right, guys, now for the rest of the test. All right, guys. So first up, we have NBC. Oppo. Spotify. Both these phones have gesture, uh, gesture controls with them. Oppo. And uh, still getting used to it there for the Oppo. YouTube. Extremely faster on the Oppo. eBay. Oppo once again. iFunny. And this one going to the iPhone. So the Oppo, 8 gigabytes of RAM on it, pretty crazy. Amazon shopping. Oppo. Photos. I think that may have been iPhone there. All right, guys, not for gaming. And this actually gonna be pretty close and maybe a narrow edge for the iPhone. Uh, I think that's a tie right there. Subway. A van is there for the iPhone. Mario. And a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy winner for the Oppo. Oppo. <laughs> Ash body. And the Oppo winning Ash body. All right, guys. And now we'll get into though. So yeah, nice improvement there for the Oppo. Geekbench. And we'll actually run this during the multitasking portion. And now we have Chrome versus Safari. IGN.com Oops. Oh, actually, no, that was right. Okay, so Vans are for the iPhone. INDB Oppo Oppo And of course, Vans are pretty oppo. And final one, we have apple.com. Apple. 
and the bands are for the iPhone, so web browsing is to the toe. Hi, no copyright music. And now for the speakers. All right, guys, first of all, we have the Oppo. And the iPhone. Back to Oppo. And last time error. Now with the Oppo, you have one speaker at the bottom. Walk well, the iPhone with your speakers on it. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. And I would say I do prefer the iPhone for the speakers. And now we have face unlock. So overall a bit faster for the Oppo. Oppo. And obviously we have the awesome animation for it. Alright guys, multitasking next. And all the way back to the beginning here. First up we have NBC. Oppo. Spotify. Oh, and actually, I did actually uh, did actually press something there for the Oppo, so that one is a tie. YouTube. I have to say, guys, the iPhone does an incredible job of only having three gigabytes of RAM. eBay. Wow, another refresh for the Oppo, man. For 8 gigabytes of RAM, that's definitely not a good thing. iFunny. Amazon. Alright, so that one is retaining, but still guys, that's... I can't believe that a few doors are restarting. I mean, 8 gigabytes of RAM with it. That's... That's pretty... That's pretty bad, guys. Photos. And now for the really tough stuff. Excellent. Subway, great job there. Sway the bands for the Oppo. Mario, excellent job. Ash 40, great. And to do. A band is there for the Oppo. And we're just going to run Geekbench now. Alright, so the Oppo is sliding off the table. But as you all see, advantage for the iPhone, although the Oppo did win for Intuito. And last one, let's just go back into Chrome vs Safari. And then camera test in a couple seconds after this. And now for the cameras.
So overall, pretty close. Yeah, pretty split. Next, we're going to test out the front facing cameras. And a book thrift image stabilization. Next, we're going to test out the front facing cameras. And a book thrift image stabilization. And now for test of the rear facing cameras. And there's a look at the maximum zoom. All right, guys, so now in the comment section below, which Boney Bank won? Now, in terms of speed, I'd say a narrow edge for the Oppo, although it definitely needs to work on the multitasking. And the cameras and the speakers, I think, pretty close. So, again, let me know what y'all think. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. And a lot more Oppo videos coming pretty soon.